Welcome to the video tutorial on writing compound sentences with coordinating conjunctions. First, let's clarify what a compound sentence is. A compound sentence contains two simple sentences joined together. There are three ways to join simple sentences, but in this video we will be talking about joining simple sentences using a coordinating conjunction. To remember what your coordinating conjunctions are, just remember fanboys. That is, coordinating conjunctions are the words for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. These words, or coordinating conjunctions, are one example of what you can use to write a proper compound sentence. Let's consider these two simple sentences. Mr. Evans owns a hardware store. He also sells paint. These are two complete thoughts. Both have a subject and a verb. Now let's merge these two complete thoughts into one compound sentence by using a coordinating conjunction. To merge the two thoughts together, you drop the period and replace it with a comma, as you can see, underlined in blue. Then you add a coordinating conjunction. Remember, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, or so, right after the comma. In this case, the coordinating, the coordinating conjunction and works best. That is how you merge two simple subjects together into one compound sentence using a coordinating conjunction. There are a few things to remember when merging simple sentences using a coordinating conjunction. First, the two complete thoughts in a compound sentence must be about the same things. They need to relate. Take this sentence for example. Mrs. Smith is a pilot, but I have a headache. The two thoughts in the sentence don't relate to each other, so the sentence doesn't make sense. Let's change the sentence to, Mrs. Smith is a pilot, but she is soon retiring. This sentence makes more sense as a whole because both thoughts are related to the same thing. In this case, Mrs. Smith's career as a pilot. Another thing to consider when building compound sentences using coordinating conjunctions is the meaning of the coordinating conjunction. Take for a minute to consider these meanings for the various coordinating conjunctions. It is also important to note that the conjunction nor should only be used when the simple sentences being joined are negative. For example, she does not eat wheat, nor does she eat dairy. This is a negative sentence. Lastly, don't forget to avoid repetition in your compound sentences. Take for example these two simple sentences. Muhammad is a doctor, Muhammad is a lawyer. We merge them into one compound sentence by replacing the period with a comma, followed by the coordinating conjunction and. But also notice that the second use of the word Muhammad is replaced by he. By doing this, you avoid repetition in your writing. Just remember to follow these steps when writing a compound sentence using a coordinating conjunction. Number one, write a complete thought and put a comma after it. Number two, select the correct conjunction for your sentence. Number three, write another, another complete thought. Make sure your two complete thoughts are about the same thing. Let's try it. 
the plumber came to repair the sink is your first complete thought. Put a comma after it. Select the correct, correct conjunction, in this case, and. The electrician came to repair the light is another complete thought. It is related to the first thought because they both have to do with home repair. Altogether, it makes a beautiful compound sentence. The plumber came to repair the sink and the electrician came to repair the light. Good luck building compound sentences with coordinating conjunctions.